Okay, welcome back to our second panel. Now, Discover Georgia is a new destination for researchers' career development, uh, moderated by uh, Dr. Nino Gacicilaze, Associate Professor of Ivan Jawahshuli Tbilisi State University. Uh, Mrs. Nino, floor is yours, so please. Thank you. Uh, thank you uh, for inviting me and um, uh, letting me to lead the panel. And um, hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us. And um, I would like to go a little bit back and start uh, the, with the history, how in 2019, uh, National Science Foundation, when I worked at the, uh, at the, uh, the foundation, was awarded uh, with this uh, great uh, possibility, with this great grant. We did our best to develop, uh, but then I quit just one year ago, and um, the uh, the project was headed by uh, Katie Gabitashvili. Katie, special uh, congratulations to you and to absolutely every Georgian researcher because this is really great opportunity. You all uh, had the uh, um, opportunity to listen to Horizon Europe uh, National Contact Point, Ms. Maya Okujawa and their, their representative, Mr. Uh, Gebhard Royal, and um, then uh, listen and see the presentation from National Science Foundation. Uh, which was presented by uh, Ms. Uh, Mrs. Um, Rosico um, Jabava, and you all learned about those possibilities which Georgian researchers uh, have to uh, have to internationalize uh, their research. And what is internalization of research? This is probably absolutely clear for everyone because this is the possibility uh, for exchange the uh, experience. This is possibility to put Georgia in a, a world scientific map. And Iraxis is really one great and very big step towards to uh, Georgian uh, science internalization. So our panel is uh, dedicated to um, power knowledge circulation and um, the panelists are from research institutions and Sorry. academia sectors. Uh, most of uh, them are from uh, universities. And we have to answer the main question, how research mobility did contribute to shape the research career. And we have invited uh, a few speakers, which um, uh, which will give you perspective how it can be done. And uh, some of them are really very, very, um, how to say, successful uh, grant grant holders. Also, Horizon uh, twenty twenty grant holders. So uh, let's see how they see their perspective in. Uh, Iraxis and what was done before Iraxis, how they were able to uh, communicate with international partners, exchange uh, the uh, knowledge and circulate the knowledge, and how, why, and how they were successful. So our first speaker is Mr. Uh, Tony Kehoshtaria, now uh, Dean Faculty of Healthcare and Iraqis Monitoring Program, The Shape of Future Res uh, of Research in Europe. Uh, this is um, the university's Geomedi and uh, Mr. Uh, Tony Ke, floor is yours, please. Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I guess we are talking about the third panel because Mr. Thornge is in the third panel. Uh, the, uh, the first speaker of the second panel is uh, Mr. Vahtang Pataridze, coordinator 
Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I missed the panel. Okay. I'm, I'm really very sorry. I'm really very sorry that, uh, yes, the opportunities, uh, um, opportunities uh, provided by Iraq's uh, Georgian network. This is our team. I'm very sorry, and I'm sorry, uh, to my, uh, Mariam. I, I jumped into your uh, topic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had, uh, I had mistakenly uh, uh, opened uh, different panels. Uh, uh, partic uh, participant list, and I'm really sorry for that. Uh, Mr. Vahtang uh, Pataridze, Ilya State University, uh, the uh, coordinator of doctoral program, uh, please. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for introducing me. My name is Vahtang Pataridze. I am a coordinator of uh, Carl Friedrich Lehmann Haupt International Doctoral Program. This program is generously supported, financially supported by Rustavel Foundation and Volkswagen Foundation. So I chose to share with you my small presentation, my PDF presentation. You can see it on the chat. Uh, and uh, in this panel, I would like to highlight the achievements and also the challenges <clears throat> faced by our program. As I already um, highlighted, the program is uh, fully funded by Rustaveli and Volkswagen Foundation, and we have 12 uh, doctoral candidates. They represent the faculties of um, art and science, natural science, also business, technology, and education. It's been an amazing opportunity for these uh, PhD candidates to concentrate uh, exclusively on uh, their research. They get a uh, monthly scholarship. Uh, by Georgian standards, it's a really, really impressive scholarship. So they can concentrate on their PhD studies and um, be as productive as um, possible. Therefore, our program is based on uh, Cotutela agreements. So there are um, participants enjoy double supervision, not only from the Ilya State University, but also from the University of Göttingen. This opens a whole new avenue opportunity for them. Uh, they, uh, our PhD uh, candidates enjoy um, funding when it comes to um, participation in different uh, conferences. They spend uh, research, um, the field trips and everything is funded by these two, gen as I already mentioned, the generous foundations. But the challenge, the biggest challenge is the sustainability of the program. After the, um, the IDS uh, has been funded as a long-term uh, project. So International Doctoral School has been uh, funded as a, a long-term project. So after these uh, programs uh, expire, we have to find uh, new sources of their funding. Therefore, programs like Your Access offer an excellent possibility to establish contacts to establish um, cooperation and collaboration with the different foundations and uh, academic institutions. As a um, spillover effect, there has been a, also a lot of um, cooperation going on, not only between PhD students, but also between their supervisors. So they have been um, filed in a number, um, numerous applications for a different project and some of them have been successful. As, um, as I already highlighted, the project is a structural one and it uh, concentrates not only on the academic aspect, but we pay a lot of attention on the um, uh, skilled training. So therefore the PhD candidates receive the opportunity to participate in numerous workshops training so, uh, so that they can uh, develop their skills, uh, transitional skills and apply them further in their careers and develop their careers. So in this respect, it's been a very multifaceted project. And uh, so far, uh, the outcomes and the results are really, really satisfying. And it's been highlighted not only from a Georgian side, but also from our German partners. And um, 
as far as uh, achievements are concerned, um, the majority of our, of our PhD candidates have already published their um, articles in a number of scientific uh, journals, and their research is going really, really at an impressive pace. This is uh, this can be credited to the fact that they have enjoyed the support, this really generous support, and they can uh, concentrate on their work and advancing their research compared to other peer PhDs in Georgia who don't have this privilege. As I already pointed out, it's been a, it is a really amazing initiative. UREX uh, offers um, a lot of possibilities for the young researchers, not only in Georgia, but also from uh, abroad. Um, Without internalization, internalization and uh, cooperation between different countries, it's very, very difficult to have uh, ambitious goals and to conduct research in uh, today's circumstances. Therefore, I congratulate you, uh, you for this um, when it comes to this initiative and wish you all this success. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have uh, um, uh, questions or uh, want to no further details, I will share uh, with you my um, contact information so that you can uh, write in an email and we can discuss the issues which are interesting for you. Once again, thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you very much, Vakhtang. Uh, I don't know how we, uh, we prefer uh, to take questions for, to, 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 to ask the questions now or the, by the end of the panel. Any ideas? <laughs> I guess to make it at the end of the panel. Uh, at the end. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And our uh, next speaker is Ms. Uh, Lika Zuladze, uh, Center Executive Director of Center of Social for Social Sciences. And uh, I would like to underline that this center and this institution is um, one of, of uh, most successful in um, the most successful participant and grantees of Horizon 2020 in, in previous uh, framework program. So congrats for this and floor is yours, Lika. Thank you. Um, I would like to thank you all for this event and um, in especially interest to this um, Horizon 2020 project and the access platforms, which is a very important initiative. Uh, I would also like to say that I am an associate professor at Tbilisi State University in um, sociology, but at the moment I will represent the Center for Social Sciences as an as executive director because it's uh, mainly through this center that we are applicants of Horizon 2020 grants, and I will try to be as brief and, as possible and overview the main project that we currently run, only currently run, because we have some former projects as well, but I will focus on the current projects and our future plans. Uh, I will start from Actually, we run three current projects, Horizon 2020 project at the moment, and I will talk about them in a chronological order. Uh, two of them uh, are uh, Marie Sklodowska Curie Actions Projects, uh, and one is uh, um, a Research and Innovation Actions Project. Uh, the first um, project that currently is run by Center for Social Sciences was launched in uh, 2018 and it continues until the end of 2022. It's called Shadow, Exploring Informal Economies and Shadow Practices in the Post-Soviet Region. And it actually uh, implies both research and networking components. Uh, in particular, we have conducted large scale um, quantitative uh, research and also qualitative research, which is an ongoing one, uh, focusing on the informal practices, uh, but that's not only in uh, the field of economics, but it has to do with politics or other fields as well. So it's like depends on the focus, particular focus of uh, targeting uh, institutions. And uh, we basically uh, are oriented not only towards research, which is, of course, 
uh, the networking platform, like, I mean, um, um, Maris Kodowska Kuri. Uh, and uh, uh, we here also um, uh, exchange, uh, we are, our, one of the main goals is to exchange the scholars of the uh, target organizations for their short-term visits uh, at partner organizations. So we have already exchanged several scholars, and that's a very good opportunity for uh, both the uh, uh, scholars from the uh, European Union countries and uh, the post-Soviet region to visit their partner organizations for their short-term research visits. Another uh, Marie Sklodowska Kuri Actions project that we currently run started in 2020 and continues until the end of 2023. It's called Markets. It's closely related to the former one. Actually, it was built on the former one or the current one, but these are two uh, simultaneous projects. Uh, this one is called Markets, uh, and uh, the long title is Mapping Uncertainties, Challenges, and Future Opportunities of Emerging Markets in the uh, Eastern Europe, um, the Caucasus, and uh, Central Asia. Uh, again, it's um, networking and research uh, uh, project uh, and uh, it's especially noteworthy and I, I would say that an innovative component of this project is that uh, we basically focus on um, developing the research potential of the young scholars and we selected 15 uh, early stage researchers who would uh, pursue their PhD careers in the partner organizations there are 12 of us I won't list them and uh, um, the most interesting part is that all of us supervise um, the uh, PhD students from different countries. At the moment, I'm supervising an Italian student who is uh, enrolled at the University of Bremen, and she focuses on she her PhD research will be on is actually uh, because she's just starting her field is on the. Uh, uh, analysis of the emerging informal practices in response to the adoption of EU norms and standards in the Georgian and Moldovan uh, wine production and export sectors. Although I'm not an uh, uh, economist, uh, we do not target this part as all well because she is not an economist as well. She is just um, she her background is in political science. Uh, I am a cultural sociologist, and we focus on everyday practices from the perspective of cultural intimacy and how these everyday informal practices are uh, 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 enacted. Uh, um, let's say how these uh, norms are adapted in the course of their adoption and how they are reworked and reinvented. So this is a very, let's say, sociological, uh, ethnographic perspective. And finally, uh, the third project we are currently running, uh, uh, which started in the beginning of 2021 and continues until the end of 2024, um, is called Meditized EU, Meditized Discourses on Europeanization and their representations in public perceptions. I'm especially proud because I'm a sole author of this project. Uh, maybe I should not say that, but it's not a secret. And uh, plus, um, I'm leading its research package, which is rather complex, because it implies a, a complex mixed method research approach, uh, implying a qualitative, quantitative, and deliberative research designs. We have already completed the desk research phase, analyzing the impact of changing media landscapes on the Europeanization discourses, and Europeanization has been the focus of my research for 10 years already. Um, uh, uh, we, we have done the desk research in seven target countries, uh, um, we have already submitted it to the European Commission by the 1st of September. Currently, we are doing the media analysis of the uh, ongoing media discourses, the most influential media outlets, representing traditional and online media. Uh, then we are going to, like somewhere in spring, we are going uh, uh, to uh, conduct in-depth interviews with political and media elites who actually influence these media discourses. And finally, our final field, let's say, will be the uh, analysis of um, public opinion surveys, which we, all of us, seven target countries, are going to conduct. Um, uh, and 
uh, regarding the, that would be populations, perceptions of the Europeanization processes in the target countries. And then we are going to produce uh, policy papers for the local and EU uh, stakeholders uh, to effectively tackle the issue of, um, let's say, media discourses, how they should be structured in order to, um, let's say, promote and not hinder the Europeanization process in the respective countries, including the countries of European Union. And one more thing I would like to add here is that from the 1st of October, we are launching a new project together with a very famous uh, German organization called SOIS. This is a center for East European studies uh, based in Berlin. And uh, we are going to uh, launch a project that is called Bridge to ERA EAP, integrating integration of the EAP countries into the European research area and this um, call is uh, funded by EU Commission and German Federal Ministry of Education and Research and here the main aim of this uh, 18 months project is to develop after 18 months to develop the joint Horizon Europe project which uh, we will um, then apply to Horizon Europe and uh, add new partners and we especially need, I guess, your access uh, to uh, um, target, reach our partners from other EAP countries. Because it turned out that we have rather good networks with the uh, European Union universities and partner organizations, but we do lack uh, this kind of networks and exchange with the EAP countries representatives. So we hope that after another two years, we will develop a new project, which I think will be on the intersection of Europeanization, which is um, my focus and our organization's current focus, and migration, which is the current focus of choice. And we will apply with a new project to Horizon Europe, on which, tar which will target some aspects of Europeanization uh, on the crossroads of migration. I, I do not really know so far because we are launching this project on the 1st of October, but that's a rough idea. In case you have any questions, I will be happy to respond. Thank you. Uh, thank you very, very much, Lika. Uh, as we decided, we will take questions by the end of the uh, panel. And uh, I hope you all enjoy uh, Lika's uh, speech. That was a clear uh, and pure example of science internalization. Uh, congrats uh, with all your already won projects, and I am sure you will be as successful in Horizon Europe also. So, you um, hope so. congrats, and yeah, I wish you all the success. Continue. This is this is your absolutely right living way. So. Okay, uh, we will move to uh, our next speaker, which is Martin Piacena from Tbilisi State University, Van Javachishvili, Tbilisi State University, Institute of Administrative Sciences. Please, uh, Mr. Piacena, floor is yours. Yeah, thank you so much. First of all, thank you so much for having me, for inviting me uh, to this meaningful event. I'm Oh, um, I would say I'm not I'm not I'm not only uh, delighted but deeply honored to participate in this event today and to be a speaker on this uh, on this panel. Um, yeah, my name is Martin Piazzena. Um, I am the manager of the Institute of Administrative Science at TSU, and we have I mean the, the institute does a lot of different things and plays a lot of different or has a lot of different uh, functions. One of the functions of the Institute is to administer study programs and we have running at the moment, we have two international uh, study programs. And I think these two programs especially make very good sense in the context of this panel as they can be maybe maybe they can be a role model for internationalization of Georgian universities and I will try within the next couple of minutes, I will try to uh, explain to you why. And I have just put together a couple of slides that I will share with you right now. So give me just a second to start the presentation. And I hope you can see. Could you just give me a few Yeah, it's on. It's on. Yeah, it's, it's on. on. Perfect. Perfect. Great. So um, yeah, 
hopefully these uh, these slides will help me to illustrate uh, these these two international study programs and um okay one second this okay ah okay great great so now i can also flip the slides great so first of all to just give you an idea what the institute of administrative sciences is about um it was that that is an institute that was founded in 2013 by tsu with the support of of the German University of Administrative Sciences, Speyer. there's just actually there's just one uh, uh, university, full university in Germany with that specific focus, which is located in the town of Speyer. So this university is is our like our key partner in this in this in this institute, and um, it was also the, the foundation of the institute was also supported by the Ministry of Education and Science of Georgia and also financially supported by Germany's GIZ, the Gesellschaft uh, für Internationale Zusammenarbeit. Most of you, I guess, will know this uh, organization as GIZ. And the location of the Institute is the Faculty of, of Law of TSU. And as I just uh, briefly said, the specific tasks are manifold. And among them are, for example, conducting public forums, organizing conferences for professional audiences and experts, conducting own research projects and publications and and this is highlighted in both letters because this is my focus today administering the mpa and llm cologne study programs so ias you see it as it's just the abbreviation of institute of administrative science the ias is a this is how we see it at least is a hub that brings together academics researchers students and practitioners in the areas of administrative sciences and law and its main objective is to support at the administrative reform in georgia that's been running for a couple of years actually and the development of public administration in the country so and this is how i when i just thought about the title of this panel and uh, what I can contrib contribute to it, uh, I thought like maybe I could just modify the title a bit. So I would say the cooperative master's study programs that I will introduce to you right now, um, the master of public administration and master of laws are maybe could be best practice examples of Georgia nation for studying. This is how I slightly modified the title and research career development. So let's get into the two programs. Um, I will start with the master's program in public administration. This is a cooperative study program founded and running since 2008. So we are in our 13th year, actually. Um, the type of program and degree is a master's, master's program and the master that uh, they that the students will be uh, conferred upon uh, a successful completion is a master's of public administration. The objective of this uh, study program is a comprehensive preparation of students as highly professional practitioners in the field of public administration or hopeful young scholars in this area. So um, hopeful young scholars in this area means that they, the student, the participants in this program can either focus after the completion of the program can either focus on going into practice or continuing uh, in an academic direction can uh, maybe become scholars. And uh, so the, one of the objectives of, of this program is also the acquisition uh, of excellent future doctoral students. Uh, content wise, the focus uh, of the program is public administration, as the title says. And uh, this means public administration in all aspects, including law, economics and finance, social and political science and communication and public relations as well. The target group are future managers and executives in the field of public administration. So we have a limited number of students per year. The maximum is 25. So this is rather a, a, a very exclusive study program. 
the selection of participants thus is highly competitive and uh, it is a procedure that is based on assessment of as a first step assessment of application documents and as a second step or a second stage if you want to a person personal interviews with the shortlisted candidates um the admission prerequisites for the candidates are is, um, um first of all is excellent results and obtain bachelor's degree in a field that is relevant as a basis or can serve as a basis for master's studies in public administration and uh, as the second major prerequisite of course since the whole study program is taught in english a uh, very good proficiency uh, in english of course um, the cycle and duration of this program is annually so we have every year a new class starting in this program and it's uh, the, the program running term is five semesters um, the curriculum of the program it is a i can say it is a structured curriculum consisting of altogether 15 modules um, with both obligatory and also optional study courses so the students they have they have the the the, uh, the opportunity to choose some of the study courses some of them are mandatory some of them are optional so they can at least to some certain extent choose their study courses and of course the study curriculum also includes a master's thesis and special components as well which not every master's program has and i think this is these these extra components is what makes the program special in in in, in a certain way um and uh, specifically these are two internships one of the internships has to be uh, taken in georgia and the other one abroad and also a summer school that takes place in Germany. Um, lecturers and teaching, we have a flying faculty model. That means that uh, lecturers from the German University of Speyer come to Tbilisi to teach classes, courses here. And um, we go even further. So that means we also have a tandem model, which means that one subject is taught by two lecturers. And that is supposed to include two different perspectives and two different academic backgrounds uh, into, into, into the lectures. And we also try to involve not only academics, uh, but also practitioners in the teaching. So to, to, have a, to have a teaching perspective, which is as broad as possible. And as for the students, they are mostly Georgian, but but the whole program is open for international students as well. And so far we had, besides Georgian participants, we also had participants from Poland, Ukraine, and Nigeria. So as I just said, the, the, the language is, is English. And uh, one of the uh, aspects that I would like to emphasize is that uh, as far as I know, it is the only study program in this area in Georgia that has not only a national but also an international accreditation and I just oh I just discovered there is a mistake in my slide here it should it should say national and international accreditation okay I will correct that and uh, the, the study program is funded by the Volkswagen Stiftung and also uh, we had partially uh, from time to time we had also funding uh, from the federal foreign office of Germany. So these are the key facts that I wanted to share with you as regards the master's program in public administration. And I will just jump to the next uh, study program that we have also running within, uh, within the frame of the Institute of Administrative Sciences. This is a master's program in law, and uh, it is called LLM Law, or uh, LLM Cologne, sorry, LLM Cologne, Masters of Law. This uh, program was even founded a year earlier than the other program, so it is running since 2007. The type uh, of program and the degree is uh, as well masters, so uh, we have masters students students in this program. The objective of this program is educating outstanding Georgian lawyers, so they are graduates, at least with a bachelor in law, uh, outstanding Georgian lawyers in the basics of German law in German, introducing 
introducing them to the study of law according to the unique German model, because there is a very unique uh, study model in, in, in Germany as regards law. And um, yeah, we, we give the opportunity to Georgian students to, to, get, to get familiarized with this, with this uh, very specific model that we have in Germany. And of course, like, like in the other program as well, we also have the goal of uh, acquiring excellent future doctoral students upon the successful completion of this program. Uh, the content focus lies on the basics of German law, logically, and uh, it includes civil law, constitutional law, criminal law, the history of law, comparative law, legal German, and terminology. The target group uh, are Georgian law graduates with outstanding bachelor's degree and excellent proficiency in German language, this time not English, but German. So the number of students is as well limited as in the other program. It's just 15 that we accept per year. And thus, in this program as well, there is a very, very high competition in order to get a participant of this program. So to become a participant of this program. Um, yeah, it, as well, it is, a, it is, it is a two-step procedure that is based on the assessment of application documents and as a second stage interview with the shortlisted candidates. Um, that was just uh, two weeks ago that we had the interviews with the candidates for the coming, for the coming study year. So, um, the admission prerequisites for this program uh, are outstanding bachelor's degree in law and, of course, excellent German language skills. Um, the cycle and duration of this program is, uh, as I just mentioned, it is also a, a yearly starting program, annually starting program uh, that is just for two semesters. So it's just a year long program. Um, the curriculum is also a structured curriculum, of course, consisting uh, of three main modules. And these three main modules uh, include manifold lectures and seminars, and as well, both comp compulsory and also optional. So, and as a another component of the, uh, sorry, of the curriculum is also the, of course, the master's thesis that uh, is, of course, a mandatory uh, component of, of this program. So uh, as for lecturers in teaching, um, we have German teaching personnel from the University uh, of Cologne coming over to TBMC as flying faculty uh, in order to, to teach uh, the subjects in the first semester and, and um, the second semester is for the students to go to Germany. So we have one semester, first semester that takes place in Tbilisi and the second complete second semester takes place at the University of Cologne. So it's then the students who have to travel and to spend a whole semester in Germany. And there they attend regular lectures and seminars uh, during that time. The students in this program are Georgians only and the study language or the work language is German. And this program is funded by uh, the DAAD, which we are very, of course, very thankful for. And yeah, this is, these are, I think, these are the key facts that I just can put together in a nutshell in, in a couple of minutes that I have here. And so I'm just saying thank you for your attention. And of course, good luck to the Eurexis Georgia National Portal. And if there are any questions, I will, of course, be happy to answer all of them. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much for this very interesting uh, uh, presentation. Uh, once again, uh, note and write down your uh, questions. We will take uh, and try to answer all of them by the end of the uh, uh, this session. And uh, now uh, I would like to uh, invite uh, the representative of uh, Batumi, Batumi State University. I am really very glad that regional university is please some, oh, someone's, oh, thank you. 
someone's uh, I think uh, some, someone's microphone was on. Uh, I'm really very glad that I uh, can see the uh, re representative of regional universities here on this uh, meeting. Welcome, uh, Ms. Uh, Mata uh, Muradashvili. Uh, this is researcher on in uh, the Institute of uh, Phytopathology and Biodiversity, but we should tell Rustavelli uh, State uh, University. Floor is yours, Marga. Welcome. Uh, your microphone is off. I'm sorry. Sorry. Ah, sorry. Good afternoon, participants. I am uh, Marga Muradashvili, researcher from uh, Batumi Shotarustaveli State University Institute of Phytopathology and Biodiversity. And uh, now we would like to introduce all the research opportunities which uh, can implement uh, at Batumi Shotarustaveli State University, which is conducted the scientific research activities together with the scientific research institutions through faculties and relevant at the academic staff. The university takes care of creating proper conditions for conducted research and decreasing quality of the research activities. In accordance with the strategic development plan, Brazil managed to establish as a priority research of culture, phytopathology, flexibiology, and ecology of Southwest Georgia. Brazil cooperates with economic agents and conduct consultancy and expert activities in which research institutions are actively involved. Many contractual works um, have been accomplished in the framework of this agreement between the agrarian and the membrane technologies institutes, namely with cooperation with the Agro Service Center of Agriculture Autonomous Republic, Minister of Agriculture, modern greenhouse complexes have been created in the village of Guara of Corbuleti municipality and in Chapi. Planning of blue, blueberry plantation have been carried out and special irrigation system has been installed. Based on this agreement, uh, by the Institutes of uh, Phytopathology and Biodiversity, have uh, been performed a lot of contractual work, such as diagnostic many economical important diseases of vegetable crops and relevant recommendation have been issued for Ajara Agro Service Center in Georgia and other organizations. It is not worthy that the Institute of Phytopathology and Biodiversity has been working with the British Minister of Defense and Food and Environmental Research Agency uh, since 2002. In the framework of the program, the Institute was equipped with the modern equipment and other technical means. New laboratory of molecular biology was created. Infrastructure has been improved and scientists have undergone training course in Great Britain uh, Scientific Center. The Phytopathology and Biodiversity nowadays cooperates with many international organizations and institutions in the form of joint scientific research projects and doctoral studies. In addition to that, Phytopathology and Biodiversity Institute is planning to carry out the following activities. Study of the economically important disease of vegetable crops and the development of measure to compact them. Upgrading collection of phytopathogens and receiving and uh, storing new strains. Study of biodiversity of fruit, orange and uh, vegetation in Ajara identification of rare indigenous adapted to the excited condition, perspective hybrid and mutant varieties. Study of biodiversity of hazardous species spread in Western Georgia, conservation and identification of economically perspective types. Uh, peculiarities of the spread of invasive plants in seaside Ajara. Pharmacognosy, characterization, um, of some um, of the local and alien flora of Ajara, study of antimicrobial action of alien and local uh, flora species, uh, department of Colchetti Meyer and the water ecosystem conservation is carrying out the research of the unique habitats and species of Colchetti. Percolation box is funny and imnati, sphagnum dominates Myers. It is important to, to note that the UNESCO awarded the Colchis Forests and Waterlands the status of the World Natural Heritage based on the plan elaborated by the scientists of the institutes 
of pathology and biodiversity. A scientific researcher Institute of Agrarian and Membrane Technology has planned the following comprehensive research activities. Production, processing and storage of endemic and alien vegetation, new materials in Achara. Complex use of membrane technologies in the processes of liquid products, separation, cleaning and waste utilization. A sweeteners of low calories products, creation of in vitro bank for the perspective agriculture culture, analyzing qualitative indicators of water supply for drinking and fish farm in Ajara, development of quality improvement methods and technological means, study of bioactive compounds of some endemic plants and alien citrus fruits in uh, protection zones in Western Georgia and passportization according to their chemical composition. In accordance with this plan, Nico Berzenishvili Scientific Research Institute has planned complex research activities. Complex archaeological monument of Tsifis Ziri, the thematic process preparation and publication of the ethnographic materials, vocabulary of Ajara and Tauplarjeti dialects, study of the Georgian Ertus of Istanbul, Georg uh, Georgian immigration press materials, and journals. It is important to know that effectiveness of the scientific research activities is increased by the dissertation works performed on the third level of education. In order to increase interest in student science, increase potential and motivation in students in every scientific research project is necessary. Bachelor's, master's and doctoral program students in involvement. Basel carries um, out international doctoral school in digital humanitarian with Goethe University of Frankfurt and Ioane Jawahishwili Tbilisi State University. The PhD school includes the following direction, philology, linguistics, literature, translation, lexicography, history, antiquity, knowledge of source, archaeology, ethnology, culture and cultural heritage studies, sociology, psychology, law, politology, which focus on Caucasus region. Basel also closely cooperates with the University of Alcala of Spain, has a signed a memorandum of cooperation and is negotiation and working for joint master and doctoral programs. The university is involved in the European Research and Innovation Program, Horizon 2020, which uh, means uh, the next uh, the grant obtained will be used for scientific research finding, innovation, and in, in, uh, innovation. And thus, Patumi Shotaru Tawili State University seeks to support the challenges of modern science and contribute to the socio, economic, and cultural development of this region, both nationally and internationally. Thank you for attention. <laughs> Uh, Maka, thank you very, very much uh, for this presentation. Uh, by the end of the, please switch off the microphone. Some, something is going on if uh, two or more microphones are uh, on the, at the same time. Maka, switch off the microphone. Please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And uh, we'll continue our uh, session. And Mr. Uh, I'm inviting Mr. Giga uh, Kwartzhava from Georgian Technical University, Dean of Faculty of Agricultural Sciences and Biosystem Engineering. Welcome, Mr. Uh, Kwartzhava. Giga, floor, uh, floor is yours, please. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. First of all, of course, uh, congratulations, my congratulations for nice portal, nice portal immigration, and I, I hope that this will help to our researchers. I represent mostly applied sciences, and before I move to um, research and how we do our research, uh, first of all, I would like to a little bit very shortly to introduce your faculty because your faculty is quite young faculty. It was established about seven years ago, but anyway, we have some, uh, some results in international um, uh, fields. So um, right now we have uh, about 28 uh, programs at our faculty, six of them are PhD programs, and practically we cover, I mean, uh, our faculty covers 
all fields in agrarian sciences. Uh, uh, we have a little bit less than 2,000 students at our faculty at this moment, and um, uh, free uh, uh, double degree programs as well. So just start from beginning from uh, bachelor's degree. Uh, right now there are two bachelor's degree uh, programs uh, at our faculty, which are conducted with for one uh, in viticulture and technology with Milan University. Uh, it's a double degree program and second in food technology, which is going with Raimewan University and also it's a, uh, it's also is a double degree. So our students uh, in viticulture and technology will have a chance to have two diplomas from next year in uh, food technology. Even in this year, we have 11 graduates. So in a couple months, they will get two diplomas. First is going from Georgian Technical University, second from uh, Renevan University from France. So, but uh, after to move in master's degree, because master's degree is also part of research, and it takes, of course, I mean, research also takes time in, in our master's degree programs. And uh, in a couple of weeks, in the middle of October, we also will sign uh, a double degree program with, uh, with uh, Montpellier Supagro. So Montpellier uh, in frames of uh, viticulture and knowledge. Uh, it's an uh, English language program at our faculty. You know, we started this program five years ago, about five years ago. Uh, and uh, we, um, uh, last five years, we tried to be part of the European uh, master uh, programs in viticulture and technology. And uh, as I mentioned, in, in three weeks, we will sign this uh, double degree program as well. So what I mean? Uh, mm, uh, of course, we would like to also have um, a PhD program uh, at our faculty with uh, mm, some universities from European side, uh, from European Union, but uh, it's not too easy. Anyway, we, uh, I mean, like we started from beginning from bachelor degree and I hope that we have some negotiation with our partners from European uh, masters, uh, European master universities. And I hope that in two years, we will have first PhD degree uh, program as well. Uh, it's a one field which I would like to um, focus on, but the second is this funds which we have right now. We, um, and uh, also we hope to have in future as well. So as I mentioned, let, uh, um, uh, some parts of Georgia, some parts of uh, Georgian researchers as well are very interesting from uh, other sites. Uh, I mean, even with the culture is very interesting. Uh, winery is very interesting from our partners from European unions, of course, forestry. It's uh, extremely uh, sphere of interesting and uh, uh, food sciences as well. Uh, mm, uh, uh. When I talk, that we have a very good negotiation, very good relationship with uh, European Union universities. I mean, that not only uh, it's only, it's not reflected only in double degree programs. Also, we have scientific uh, um, uh, relationship, for example, with Poznan University Life Sciences, with Kornick Institute. Both are from Poland. And uh, uh, last three years, we have uh, mutual pro projects. It comes from, it's not our sources, I mean, it's not Georgian sources, uh, financial sources, I mean, uh, it comes from, <laughs> it comes from uh, European Union, and we are part of this uh, investigation, part of this research. Also, um, in uh, 2020, in, uh, practically one, years, one year ago, uh, we had also, um, uh, very good uh, uh, research project and investigated pathology uh, situation uh, in uh, near Tbilisi area in forests and it's also this fund uh, was a local fund a Georgian fund not Rustavel but anyway it was local fund and money comes from this local fund also we are trying uh, to have um, to uh, uh, suggest to our two funds uh, mutual projects with our uh, colleagues from uh, from different universities. And uh, uh, I hope that in the end of this year, we will uh, uh, we'll get two uh, 
projects. Uh, uh, we are part of these projects, but both of them, uh, uh, I think, that will be in, uh, will be done in Georgia next few years. Uh, so, uh, but uh, of course, uh, there's big differences between uh, applied sciences and social sciences because uh, we need more sources is because uh, to make research in our field, it takes not only time, it takes also some equipment, some uh, materials. And uh, for Liz, it will be uh, very nice that uh, there is possibility right now, it's a possibility to have access, uh, direct access for uh, our um, colleagues from, from European Union. Uh, I hope that uh, it will be, uh, this portal will be, uh, runs very good. And in future, uh, I, I hope that uh, many of my colleagues will use this portal. Uh, so um, it's a briefly what I would like to present. Uh, if you have additional questions to me, I'm ready to answer to your questions. Thank you so much. Uh, and after, after our panel, uh, I will stay, of course, for, for um, questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Giga, very much. Yes, uh, this is, I mean, we all know that science is uh, funding, consume, fund consuming. So that's why we need uh, not only local local funds, but also uh, funds from other donor institutions, including international. And the Iraxis is exactly one very good tool to the uh, funds and to the possibilities, for the possibilities. So um, our uh, last uh, speaker for this panel, but we have third panel also, and then uh, other two seasons, parallel seasons. Uh, Sophia, uh, Sophia Bakhtadze, glad to see you. I uh, haven't seen, seen you for, for a few years. Uh, glad to have you uh, here. Uh, Sopo is Vice Rector of uh, Tbilisi State Medical University. And the floor is yours. Please. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for inviting me. It's a great honor and pleasure for me to participate uh, in this very important event. And I'd like to congratulate you with launching of this very important website. Uh, just I will make very a uh, brief overview only with a couple of words uh, about Tbilisi State Medical University, uh, which is one of the biggest medical university in Georgia. I'm speaking to this uh, for our uh, foreigner uh, guests. So we have 2,700 students from 72 different countries. Uh, we are uh, very proud because we have very active educational activity. Several years ago, we have launched um, educational hub of um, medical, international medical association. Uh, so uh, this is mainly, uh, I mean, educational activity, which we are performing. But together with educational activity, sure, we are actively uh, participating in different scientific projects and uh, are trying also to encourage and uh, support uh, um, research at local level. Uh, first, what I want to tell you that as we are monoprofile university, we could not and we have no so much uh, opportunities to participate in different, this is the main problem, different European interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary disciplinary projects, so that's why uh, beyond and besides these projects, we uh, actively uh, support with our local efforts uh, to strengthen and to uh, initiate different scientific projects. The first and the most important uh, initiative, which started two years ago uh, at Felicity State Medical University, I mean at local level with local effort, this was um, a special, absolutely unprecedented scientific project, which started, as I told you, two years ago, supporting young researchers uh, to actively participate and to actively be involved in doctoral education. Um, 
uh, our strategic, strategic plan and mission of our university is uh, active interna internationalization and uh, of scientific activity as well as active uh, um, uh, involvement of young researchers in different scientific projects and in different uh, um, uh, doctoral uh, um, a doctoral level as well. So uh, this project, as I told you, started two years ago and 23 young researchers were involved in this project. Young, we mean uh, uh, doctoral students who are uh, under 35 years of age. Uh, so uh, what is the preference of this project that they uh, have absolutely unprecedented stipendium, annual stipendium, they have absolutely unprecedented support uh, for the, I mean, financial as well as infrastructural support, uh, and also the head of this scientific project also has absolutely unprecedented financial as well as infrastructural support to conduct and implement this uh, certain scientific project. So, um, uh, as I told you, due to this initiative, uh, uh, we had um, attracted 23 uh, doctoral students, young doctoral students, uh, but we are not uh, concentrated and focused only on a month of students, but we also uh, are uh, trying to improve the quality, and that's why the main prerequisite of uh, participation and involvement in this scientific project was uh, high level of knowledge of English, and also uh, main um, prerequisite was uh, to uh, publish uh, um, uh, a scientific uh, article in high impact uh, European or other type of scientific journal, which also could be uh, supported and funded from university budget. The next scientific direction, which we also are uh, uh, which is main priority for us is uh, clinical uh, studies and clinical trials where uh, we actively participate as well. Now we have 24 ongoing clinical studies uh, regarding uh, examination of different drugs and all these clinical studies are implemented in our university clinics. Um, another very important priority uh, due to mainly due to pandemic and um, I will say the only positive aspect of pandemic could uh, be that it shows us, pandemic shows us that biomedical science is very important and is uh, absolutely um, uh, preference uh, in uh, the today in the world. And the result of this is the uh, vaccine which could save our lives. So uh, mainly we now are concentrated, you know that our university clinic is on the front line uh, in struggle with pandemic. Now, in our university clinic, we are launching two very important international uh, projects with our two strategic international partners. The first, this is Bonn University, and the second, this uh, Austrian Innsbruck University. We are starting two clinical projects um, regarding examination of two anti-COVID uh, drugs. Uh, this will be nasal form uh, in patients with mild and moderate form of COVID-19 infectious. So this, uh, uh, in a couple of words, I don't want to exceed my time too much. Uh, these are main projects which we are uh, implementing now. And now we are focused on um, participating in different uh, consortia and to join different calls of Horizon Europe, especially, as I told you, this year, our main scientific and clinical priority is COVID-19. We have plenty of clinical uh, materials and clinical experience in this very um, terrible infection. So we are now uh, ready and preparing this activity to join our European and uh, international colleagues. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, I'll be very happy to answer them. 
agree about COVID. Uh, this is the reason we see each other on the screen, except uh, besides we should be somewhere in the very nice place celebrating integration of um, uh, opening uh, Iraq's portal. So all the speakers there, you have underlined the, um, the benefit which you get from um, by access international funding and uh, exchanging experience and etc. So what else to say? Iraxis is one more tool which can expand your uh, possibilities. So today, after um, one and a half year of trying very hard to open this um, website and portal, we tried to do this in the previous uh, spring and it was locked down then in the fall and it was still got locked down during the lockdown period. Then third time during this spring this year and uh, still it was content with the lockdown. And finally, we, we realized that because of COVID, we will better do it online rather than not to do at all. So <laughs> that's why we are all here. So once again, uh, congratulations uh, to uh, National Science Foundation and thank you uh, for your efforts. And finally, we reached to the point. And thank